Today, many child advocate groups gathered to talk about child abuse and prevention at the University of North Florida. This event was put on by the Exchange Club Family Center in Jacksonville. Now, since 1991, the group has worked with families struggling, trying to give them the tools to stay healthy and happy together as a family unit. Our goal is to try to reach families before um, there's a crisis, um, before DCF has to knock on their door, and, uh, and to help keep that family together and strong. Our goal is to keep as many children as possible in the home and out of, you know, out of the foster care system, which is pretty overwhelmed. The executive director of the Exchange Club Family Center, Barbara Alexander, says that if in doubt, you should make a call and let the professionals come in to help. And the keynote speaker today was Matthew Sandusky. He is the adoptive son of former Penn State assistant coach Jerry Sandusky. And earlier this year, Jerry Sandusky lost a bid for a new trial, but a Pennsylvania appeals court ordered him to be resentenced for a 45 count child molestation conviction. Today, Matthew spoke with First Coast News. Here's his message for survivors. Abused by his adoptive father between the ages of 8 and 17, Matthew Sandusky has turned his traumatic personal experience into a mechanism to prevent childhood sexual abuse and help other survivors heal. Child sexual victimization is the number one health epidemic that we face as a nation, um, which makes it the number one thing that we need to talk about, but it also is really the number one thing that we don't talk about. He is the founder and executive director of Peaceful Hearts Foundation, raising awareness about child victims and working with advocates. I mean, it's a lot of reasons why we don't talk about it, especially just uh, if we look at the victim side, yes, it's, it's societal stigmas, it's, you know, embarrassment, it's all of those things. Through his work, Matthew has moved from victim to survivor. Uh, but I think it's also important for people to understand that not only the child is groomed by a perpetrator, um, the families are groomed by the perpetrator as well, and so are communities. So, how can we prevent this kind of abuse in the future? While we teach stranger danger and we all understand what that means in society, you know, that's not really where a lot of these perpetrators are. 93% uh, of the time, a child is being perpetrated against by someone they know, love, care about. But his message that he tries to spread is clear. It's for survivors to know that they're not alone, um, that this is happening to a lot of us, and that we are here to support you. You are worthy of love. It wasn't your fault, and healing does happen. 